Dr. Mumu here. Now this little snippet is a continuation from yesterday's snippet. I told you I found a treasure in the trash can behind the beer joint. So this snippet is about my finding that treasure. Well, first of all, back in the 60s, the big craze was buying, they called it a fall. It's like, it's not a full wig, but it's kind of like a half a wig. It's like a hair piece and it would, it had a comb on it and it would comb into your hair and lock. And then it was all this long hair that would hang down and all of mama's friends had them. They'd swing, they'd wave that hair. How do you like my new fall? And I'd be going, oh, I love it, I want one. Well, I'm behind the beer joint on a Saturday night, going through the trash. And there, in the bottom of the trash can, is a fall, a long brown one. Oh my God, my heart is racing. This can't be, I really can't have found one of those. Well, I get it out. And I didn't have enough hair. Daddy always got me a buzz haircut. So I didn't have enough hair for that comb to hook into anything. So I'd take the fall and I would just split it in two pieces, like a part, and half the hair was in this hand and half the hair was in this hand. And I'd just like plop it down over my head. So I just had these two hair things hanging right here. But it looked good because I would just be looking in the mirror. So it looked good to me. I mean, even though I didn't have anything back here. Well, I was so happy because I didn't have to drape a towel over my head anymore whenever I would uh, do my movies and uh, sing opera. I had the real thing. Well, Mama would never let me go out of the house with that fall on until one day. It's the last week of school and they're having like crazy days where each day you would dress up in a different costume or like it might be 50s and you wear your poodle skirts and well this tomorrow is going to be cowboy and Indian day and I think you know what I'm going to be because I'm going to wear that fall. I get my sister's Indian moccasins and I put them on, a pair of blue jeans, a white t-shirt and then there's a neighbor girl up the street, a teenager, and she's got this suede, brown suede jacket that has fringe that just hang. Fringe everywhere, kind of like Cher would wear. And I put, and I borrow that, and I put it on. And then I get in Mama's purse, and I get out her little bottle of base makeup foundation, I think they call it. And I'm getting that, and I'm just putting it on layer after layer after layer, trying to get my skin dark enough to look, so that I look like I'm an Indian. And then I put the fall on. Well, that fall is only, you know, it's only about that wide. It's not made to cover your whole head. But I knew I had to spread it all out so that it looked like um, a whole head of hair. And I tied a, a piece of cloth around my head and I found a bird feather and I put it on. It was just a little teeny tiny feather. It wasn't big enough. So anyway, I got this hair. I got it all spread out. It looks beautiful. It's so thin. There's just a, strand, a few strands here and there all the way around my head. But I make sure that there's a lot in the front because I mean, I like to see the front. But that it was so thin, it looked like I, like I had the mange. You remember those dogs? that were strays and they ran around, they wandered around the neighborhood and your mom would scream, don't you touch that dog, it's got the mange. It was that skin condition where it would just have patches of hair. Well, I look like I had the mange with that fall spread out over my head. Well, I got mama's Aquanet and I sprayed, cause I wanted to stay in place. So I sprayed and sprayed for like several minutes, trying to lacquer that hair I'm trying to lacquer it to that suede jacket so that it won't move. I want that hair staying in place. Well, I know that I can't move my neck because it's going to break the bond of that aqua net. So I'd, I'd move my whole body. I 
this whenever I'd see people. It's me, Dave. You didn't recognize me, did you? I'm an Indian. I know. I look real, don't I? Well, it was about 95 degrees with no air conditioning, and I'm sitting at my desk. But I'm not going to take anything off because I'm keeping that fall on. I had sweat pouring down my front, pouring down my back, pouring down both arms, and my makeup was streaking. Well, it's, I was pretty miserable that day, but it was the best day of my life at school because I got to wear that fall. Well, when I come home from school that day, I took the suede jacket over to the girl to return it. And I, she, I handed it to her and she's got it. She goes, what, what's on this? Why is it so sticky? Well, I get out of there in a hurry. Oh, I hear mama hollering. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Me and that fall. That's the treasure I found in the beer joint trash can. Bye, America.